dormir. Yes? What did you need? Yes? What did you need? Yes? What did you need? teach you.
What did you need? out to the courtyard. Just head to the door. We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? The whole place looks well dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after eating meals. Just food things. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those times. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around.
Who's there? I knew I did something. <laughs> That'll teach you. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I heard something.
I heard something. Getting close. I'm sure of it. I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. Maybe to my mother. Always smarter than I gave her credit for. Getting close, I'm sure of it. has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Having trouble finding those ingredients?
then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes. Where'd you come from? You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Good day. I heard something.
Mother! Maker. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call herself Vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana. If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. 
If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Where'd you come from?
charge the enemy. No, much too dramatic. Back to the prison. Managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate.
hear something. It's Jonathan. He's here. Where are you? Never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Mon. Leading to the scroll. Come on, she's leading us to the scroll. Leading us to the scroll. Forgive my astonishment. Volumes written on Dernivir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernivir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes? Hours? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. I wish she could come with us. Stay your weapons. 
I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thun. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. In my language, the Quanarin is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Forgive me. My instinct was to grant you this title. I am uncertain why. Perhaps one day it will become clear to both of us. Come on, let's go home.
Yes? Dexian said something about that scroll. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winterhold. Sounds like something they'd know about. I figured it would be more of an issue for you. Don't tell me you're that naive. Really? Oh. Wow. Alright, well... What do you think my father's going to do once we bring the bow to him? And I thought my father was the delusional one. At that point, you'll have given him everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. You'll have shown yourself to be strong, which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. Not until we have the bow, but you're right. This won't be easy, but we can handle it. Where'd you come from? Gah! <laughs> 